Hey traders, Todd Gordon of TradingAnalysis.com. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Too bad it's on a Monday. We can't have a little bit more fiestas, but uh, to business. First week in May, more importantly. Um, so I think there's some volatility popping up here. I want to focus in on a currency trade in the Australian dollar. Uh, I'm going to bring up um, overlay of Aussie and gold. <clears throat> um, the two correlate very well. Uh, Australian economy is not a big producer of gold. Um, but it kind of gets lumped into um, most of the, the precious and industrial uh, metals that are freely traded in gold is obviously the, um, the most important one. So um, it tra they trade pretty well together. So you can see as we move into a, uh, a bigger chart here that the correlation has been very tight. Uh, really since October 2013, um, you saw a big drop down in December, rally up. And then um, actually Australian dollar did not participate in that decline that gold saw in March, Aussie just kind of kept going sideways, or sorry, start, kept moving up. Uh, Aussie went sideways, gold went sideways, and I think the two are about to um, embark on a new uptrend. So let me bring in the analysis here. And specifically, let me get rid of Aussie. We'll come back to Aussie. Okay, so I'm going to delete Aussie, go to the full screen. And what we're looking at here, guys, in gold on the daily, uh, we can see that you've pulled back into this 1275 support area. I think gold is set to rally uh, up on a C wave way up there <laughs> towards about 1400. Okay, equality between this A wave and C wave is up around 1434. We have channel resistance just above 1400. Uh, so I think gold is in for a little bit of a uh, of a move up. Okay. So now let's go over to the specifics of Aussie. Okay, this is going to be a three-hour chart. Uh, it's a it's been kind of a complex decline in most of April. I think that complex decline slash correction is over, and we're about to start moving higher. So the I believe the final move down um, in this correction was on non-farm payroll Friday. So a pretty good move down and then a subsequent rally back up. I think that's wave one. I think we're looking at a, at a three wave decline in wave two. Um, let me stretch this out a little bit. That three wave decline in wave two, we'll just go like this, right click, decompose as a correction, ABC down. That is gonna be the sign uh, that the correction is over. Wave two is in place. Uh, we're going to look to enter at 92.50. Stop below um, this hole. You could put the stop below the wave one low, which is about 92. But I want to give this cluster of Fibonacci support the wave four uh, verse three and wave four verse two. I want to kind of give the stop loss room to work down into those levels if we haven't exactly isolated the low of this move. So I'm going to put a stop just below that Fibonacci support 91.40. So we have 110 pips of risk on the table uh, for what I see is upside minimum 94.50, uh, which is about 175, but that's just your first take profit. Okay, you want to look to take profit on the balance of the position above 95. So again, gold, Australian dollar correlating pretty well together. Uh, I think you saw a pretty telling move in non-farm payroll. You know, they sold Aussie down and it snapped all the way back. Uh, markets really didn't like that number so much. I think the dollar is going to stay on its heels and that would push uh, gold to the upside. All right. So look out for that trade. Hope it helps. And I'll see you on the next episode.